நீங்கள் பார்த்துக் கொண்டிருப்பது உங்கள் கதிர் டிவி இந்த ஓல்டு சிட்டி ஆஃப் விஜயநகரம் தர் வாஸ் ஏ ஃபேமஸ் கிங் கால கிருஷ்ணராயா அண்ட் ஹி ஹேடிய கிளவர் காட்டியர் ஊஸ் நேம் வாஸ் தெனாலியராமன் தெனாலியராமன் இஸ் ஏ வாய்ஸ் காட்டியர் ஹூ பிலாங் டு த வில்லேஜ் கால் தெனாலி ஹே ஏஸ் ஜரை நோன் ஃபார் ஏஸ் விட் அண்ட் ஹியூமர் ஈவன் இன் டிஃபிகல்ட் டைம் ஹி எஸ்கேப் இம் செல்ஃப் த்ரூ ஹேஸ் இன்டெலிஜென்ட் டாக்ஸ் through his presence of mind he wins all the critical situation he always talk wisely and never cheat anyone now let's watch how cleverly raman acts in the scene scene 1 at the market place characters are raja murali vasu they are friends somu fruit vendor raman hero raman is seen at the market entrance talking to some men somu fruit vendor is busy calling out to the customers Two men come to Somu stall, examine the fruit on the trays. Mangoes, bananas, pineapple, take the fresh of your choice. Come ladies, gentlemen, buy for the worth of your money. How much are these apples brother? Six apples for half an hour sister. That is very expensive. Those are fresh. I sold them at four per an hour yesterday. How about? Raja Murali and Vasu are seen walking towards Somu. You do not look happy. What happened? Say anything bothering you Murali. Say something Murali. I have not made good money this week Raja. My children are unhappy too. You must not worry so much about such things Murali. Oh yes, we can find you a job Murali. Raja, there is no job in our country and you see enough money to make our families happy. There is no man. Look how happy he is. He is happy because he earns enough money without working hard. He is the king's favorite. The king gives him bags and bags of gold coins. Why would he worry then? They come close to the fruit vendor. Come friends. fruits gooseberries goldberries bananas pineapple i got fruits from various places they are cheap too how cheap they are so if they are cheap then how can you make money can you make money like raman what are you saying you work so hard in the hard sun but no bad raman he enjoys spending the money receives from the king you are right the king so generous to him Raman today let's see how you make a full raman raman come close to the fruit vendor he has a bag in his hand hello raman hope your day was good oh yes it has been very good so far so mo very well raman you do like to buy some fruits the day is so hot it would do a lot of good if i had some fruits so mo Raja Murali and Vasu stand busy at the stall, pretending to examine some fruits. We didn't see so much like Raman. You are my regular customer, Raman. Today, fruits are fresh to look at these apples. Indeed, they are fresh and succulent too. Yes, I brought them from my own garden. Great. I wish I could have some bananas. Sure, Raman. Take this ripe one. Thank you so much. But what's the price? Price for these bananas is nothing, Raman. Nothing? How come so much? You have been my regular customer. Go get Raman. Take as many as you want. As you say, so much. Raja Murali and Vasu watch keenly the conversation between so much and Raman. Raman needs two bananas. Carefully peeling them. Acting for. The bananas are very tasty, Somu. Thank you and bye, Somu. As Raman moves on, Somu stops him. But wait, Raman, you did not tell me the price, Raman. Raman returned the star struck by surprise. But you said the price.
is nothing. That's right, Raman. I want you to play that nothing. Raman became angry. He sensed that Soma was playing a trick on him. He thought for a while and took his empty bag. Soma, what is in this bag? Tell me, Soma. Hmm, this has nothing in this bag. Why do you ask me so? Well, since it has nothing in it, this is the price you asked for. You ask nothing and I have given you nothing. But Raman, be honest, Somo. Tell your friends that it is not only physical war that pays, but sort of wisdom. Somo stands puzzled and realizes his mistake. As Raman moves away. What happened, Somo? What happened? Hey, Raja Murali Vasu, you hear what Raman said? Never try to cheat others. Raman is clever. He has taught me a lesson. I must never cheat anyone. Let me do my work. Raja Murali and Vasu learns a lesson and steadily moves away from the stall. Okay, let's go. Scene two. Many of the problems in the king's court are handled by Raman. Even the issues which are about to come will be softly and brilliantly handled by Raman. Here goes the scene. At the court. Mike, Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike. 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 Go on. Yes, my lord. Go on. Call the minister to my chamber. Okay, my lord. Minister, the king has come. Yes, I will come. Yes, my majesty, what is the news for me? Call all the ministers to ask them immediately. I want to show my royal ban, which no one ever seen. Yes, my lord. Minister goes and informs to other subjects. All of them gather at the chamber. Yes, my lord. All of you, take your seats. I have you all gathered to look at my royal parrot. Look at it, how beauty and royal it is. In this world, don't have a royal parrot like this. With golden necklace and it cage with jewels, isn't it? Super, excellent, my lord. I think it really looks awesome, my lord. We feel very lucky to see this, my lord. You are really great, my lord. I know. Now go and tell to our messengers to tell about this to our people in our kingdom. Let it be seen by them. Yes, my lord. We will inform immediately to the people. Look, Raman, my parents look very beautiful, isn't it? What happened? Forgot your admiring his beauty. Is it so? No, my lord. I was just thinking whether the bird was really happy. Of course. Look at the bird. Lives in the golden cage and get the best fruits to eat. What else more does it want? Yes, your majesty. But whether the cage of gold or wood, it is always a cage. But the bird has lost its freedom to fly and go anywhere with other birds. How can you say such a thing about my pet? I know, it is happy. Don't try to prove it and never show me your face. Yes, my lord. The king regretted the whole night of having rule with Raman. Shall we have our dinner, my lord? I am not angry. What happened? Why are you so worried? Don't disturb me. Leave me alone. The next day at morning. My lord, why were you upset yesterday? Are you better now? I am feeling sorry for Raman. Yesterday I talked to him very rudely. It's okay, my lord. Uh, it's okay. Oh, and the mic rang back. It's okay, my lord. Everything will be all right. You just refresh yourself.
Yes. Ah, who are you? Who are you? Mercy, mercy. What happened? What happened? Someone is dead. I will see. Who are you? How did you come here? Reply me or we will die immediately. No, Your Majesty. It's me, Raman. I told you to go away. How dare you come in front of me? Turn on me. You told me not to show my face. Therefore, I covered my face with this yellow part. Ha 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 ha! ha. ha. Please with you. Remove the part. All of you, take your seats. You are right, Raman. I was thinking about your words last night. I have no rights to arrest the birds' freedom. I will set my bird free, and the court has it. Yes, my lord. Scene three. Characters are two gods who bring Raman's son. Two soldiers accompanying the king. Melan, Murgan, and Sundar. Peoples at the street bear jealous of Raman. Mala, Kala, and Lakshmi. Customers. Melan and Murgan meet on the way on the right of the stage. <laughs> Hi Murgan, do you know what happened today? What is it, Melan? You seem quite excited. I have been waiting for this day, my friend. Sundar is seen by them, who finds the two men talking very seriously. Huh? Ah. Hello, Melan. How are you, Murgan? I am fine, Sundar. We have something to tell us. I took help from you. Tell us. Us. What is it? Our Raman son has been caught by the king's soldier. He shot roses from the king's garden. How? The king. His father. But Raman is the king's favorite. The king may not punish him. You did not listen to my news. The soldiers are bringing the boy to the king. Then we can see what will happen to Raman son. You are right. I have been waiting to see Raman be punished by the king. Today it shall happen right before us. From the right of the stage, as they speak, the two soldiers make their way to the center of the stage with the boy. The boy has few roses in his hands. Melan, Murgan, and Sundar watches the boy with great excitement. The woman from the fruit stall looks at the boy with pity. Lakshmi, look, isn't that boy our Raman son? Yes, sister, he is a poor boy. What did he do to be caught by the king's guards? He stole the roses from the king's garden. He caught him red-handed. Look at his hand. He has the roses. How sad! But what are you taking him? We will take him to the king. Poor boy. But why did you steal the roses, boy? They look beautiful, auntie. I thought I might give them to my mother. Just then, Raman enters the stage from the right and finds his son in the grips of guards. Why have you arrested my boy? He stole the roses from the king's garden. Where are you taking him? We will take him to king. But my son would not do such a thing. Yes, Raman sir would not steal. He says he plucked only to give to his mother. What a dear boy! Yes, sister. But how will you prove it? Look at the flowers in his hand. Raman thinks for a while. My son has to be punished. If he had done a mistake, I won't stop that. He took off the shawl he wears. The sun is very hot today. He covers the head of his son with the shawl and looking at him. This coming will protect my son. There comes the king. The king enters the stage. Yes, my love. Take your seats. Don't they look like the palace gods? Yes, your highness. They have a Roman son with them. I have seen him by the palace many times. He comes to palace to see his father. Oh, your highness, this is Solomon's son. Why do you take him to me? He stole the roses from the palace garden. You have the roses stolen by the boy. That I 
plague and banish him the bar has a roses in his hand what this i don't see any roses in his hands finds nothing in his hands that's not true your highness these men brought me here to bring bad name to my father you fools don't waste my time let the boy go we are very, very sorry your highness gods go the gate now thank, thank you your highness the gods are shocked and dumbfounded don't take this issue seriously raman no your highness you are right in your judgment your son is very smart thank you your highness like father like son indeed hands over a bag of gold coins for get take this bag of gold coins and get the boy what he want thank you your highness take thank your son home raman okay my highness king did not punish the little boy i know he would not have done this maybe it was because of his bad time you are right kala velan murugan and sundar watch us what happening velan see what happened hmm the little boy was clever i understand one thing velan what is it sundar that what over in a situation you can win if you are clever i told under a son today what did you learn it is not wise to be jealous of others and it is such foolishness to wait for someone's fault you are right man work hard use your intelligence you will be successful நீங்கள் பார்த்துக் கொண்டிருப்பது உங்கள் கதிர் டிவி